Ahead of the new iPhone 8 and iPhone X, Apple has made a small but notable change to its iPhone upgrade program. While customers previously had to go into an Apple retail store to trade in the device and pick up their new one, Apple is now allowing trade-in devices to be mailed in. Apple has updated its iPhone upgrade program webpage to reflect the change in policy, saying customers can now have a trade-in kit mailed to them. You can either have a trade-in kit sent to you and return it by mail or trade in your current iPhone when you pick up your new iPhone at an Apple store. A specialist will help you complete your trade-in and set up and transfer data to your new iPhone. Here's how Apple describes the process once your new iPhone ships, we'll send you a trade-in kit with a prepaid shipping label so you can send your current iPhone back to Apple.2 The same conditions apply to the mail-in process, including the fact that the trade-in device must power on, hold a charge, be free of breaks or cracks, and have a functioning display. Apple's iPhone upgrade program DIDNT ran incredibly smooth last year, with the company facing a class action lawsuit over the fiasco and limited upgrade options. With changes such as the mail-in process, however, things will ideally go smoother this time around as Apple is seemingly trying to better spread out the load with the new mail-in option, which will almost certainly help. One important thing to note, however, is that the iPhone XS supposed delay and supply shortages could have an effect on iPhone upgrade program members. We broke down what the delay could mean right here. Are you going to be trying to use the iPhone upgrade program to get a hold of the iPhone 8 or iPhone X this year? Let us know down in the comments. Thanks, John Backquote. Check out 9to5Mac on YouTube for more Apple news.